I think logic users are generally more experimental and, and freaky creative types generally than users of some other software programs because it's such a musical playground. The requirements when you're making a record with sort of a rock band environment versus sitting kind of in the laboratory composing for film and it's sort of two different animals almost and uh, Logic has been the centerpiece for sort of both phases of my career. On the TV shows we generate about 20-25 minutes of music per week and that has to happen in the space of if we're lucky six days if we're not lucky four. In other words the audio guys are last to know and first to go. I'm running two almost identical studios here at my place. We can take any logic sequence from either room and load it up in the other room, and when something comes back, there's no, nothing else to be looked up on a tablet, no other notes to be read off the screen and entered in. And what we're hoping to do next is to move to a, an XSAN situation where we can have a centralized storage that will look like local storage to both machines. We're gonna be loving it. I, I sometimes shudder when there's a certain sound. I've got to dig out of the crates and I've got to go into the garage and dig out a rusty old keyboard. But I no longer feel the need to have racks upon racks of synth modules to cover each and every little sound. You know, 100% of that's taking place within Logic. In, in the same way that you would play it, you can play a piano with your eyes shut, there's a whole series of actions that I can take in Logic that I almost don't need to look at the screen for. Without Logic, I would have to rethink fundamentally how I go about creating music. It would be a different procedure entirely.